Now I've been doing home automation projects for quite some time now and I have a whole bunch of ESP8266s with my home built boards, I have Sonoffs with ESP8285s, I have some ESP32s and they're all over the shop, in the loft under the insulation, they're out in the garden, they're controlling lights and gates and all kinds of things. But I can't use them with ESP Rainmaker because ESP Rainmaker is made for ESP32. So the challenge for today is how to get ESP Rainmaker and all its benefits like Google Voice Assistant, Alexa, scheduling and app sharing working with an ESP8266. First, a little bit of history. On my ESP8266s, typically I run Tasmota. The reason I run Tasmota is it's a wonderful piece of software that's been written over many years now. It supports ESP8285, ESP8266, and ES now it supports also ESP32. But the most important thing is it's supported on many hundreds of devices from plugs, sockets, uh, curtains, shutters, shades, wall switches, module switches, lights and LEDs, sensors and different appliances. It's a really superb piece of software and I highly recommend it to anyone as your go-to solution. So our challenge is to get ESP Rainmaker working to control ESP32s. Now as we know ESP Rainmaker it runs on ESP32 and on most mobile devices and the way we're going to do it is by having a local MQTT broker and that will allow us to control my outside gates for example, any of my Sonoffs and also to receive information in uh, for remote monitoring of, in this case, my house batteries. Our MQTT broker we're going to use is Mosquito and that is installed with so many things these days. It's in Home Assistant, you can just enable it. Uh, you can install it with Diet Pi on a really lightweight installation, maybe on a Pi Zero W. It comes in Raspberry OS and if you're looking for an installation guide, stevesinternetguide.com is the place to go. He will teach you all about Mosquito, uh, Node Red as well, and MQTT. So how are we going to do this? How does it work? Well, as a bit of a recap, when we press the demo light power on button on our phone, the phone sends the power on message to our ESP32 across the internet. Our ESP32 is going to change that and send an MQTT message to our local broker and that will be in the format that Tasmota understands, command, demo lights, and then the power state, in this case to turn on, power equals one. Our Sonoff device will be subscribed to that message in the local MQTT broker, and so will receive it. And when it receives it, it will turn our light on, and it will send a return message, stat, demo lights, power on. So the status of demo lights is power on. Our ESP32 bridge is going to receive that message and then transform that into a message that will update the display on our phone. So basically our ESP32 is going to be a translator between ESP Rainmaker and our Tasmota MQTT messages. In order to do this we're going to have to have a local MQTT client and I've chosen to use the Async MQTT client by Marvin Roger. You can download that and install it from GitHub and it's a truly excellent piece of work. Right, here's a quick how-to on uh, installing Tasmota. They have a web installer. It's really, really easy. Okay, plug your ESP8266 in the right way around. It should mount. Go to tasmota.github.io slash install. Choose the one you want. We are on call it con 20. Install, erase, next, install. It's erasing. It's installing. And by the magic of video editing, it's finished. It's erasing. It's installing. And by the magic of video editing, it's finished. Great. Now it scans for the networks. We'll put it on the secret network. So secret 
password. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have told you that. There we are. It's connected and ready to configure. We might as well configure it. Configure MQTT. The host is going to be my MQTT broker, 192.168.199.8. My username and password for the MQTT broker. That's if you've put any password protection on it. And the topic we're going to have as demo light. Don't want that. And your Tasmoto resets itself. And we can toggle it on and off. And that's about all we need to do. So how are we going to make this happen? Well, essentially, we have two bits of code to write. A bit that will translate incoming MQTT messages, the status messages that are returned from our Tasmoto device and convert that into Rainmaker speak. And we have another piece of code that needs to be written. So when we press a button or do an action on our phone, then Rainmaker will convert that action into something that ta the Tasmota device can understand. I've chopped it into three parts and they reflect the things that I've just mentioned. The first thing we need to do is declare uh, device names. So I've declared the front lights as uh, demo lights of type light bulb and no pin attached. And then my solar device, which is our solar monitor, I've declared as a temperature sensor. The reason I've declared it as a temperature sensor is it's the only one that shows the gauge symbol on your phone. Scrolling further down, we need to put in the address of our local MQTT broker that you'll have set up before uh, we start this. And here are a couple of little uh, utility functions just to convert the string uh, that is received from the MQ local MQTT broker into uh, a type that is suitable for ESP Rainmaker to send. In the setup, we just configure our node and we call MQ setup, which is just going to set up all the MQTT. And the rest of it is standard, comes with the Rainmaker example code. So let's go and look at our MQTT code. There is nothing at all spectacular here to do, apart from in line 14, you have to set up your credentials for your MQTT client if you have set up security on your MQTT broker. I've left all of or, or very much of the serial output here so that you can see what go, is going on if you're not experienced in using MQTT. Now we're going to look at what happens when our ESP32 has connected to the local MQTT broker. And all we're going to do is subscribe to two messages. The first one being the status message of our demo lights and we want to know what the status of the power parameter is. The second one is a monitor message and it's mon slash home battery is the topic. So having subscribed to those, the ESP32 will get a notification each time a message of that topic is sent to the broker. When our ESP32 receives a message of that type, this is what runs on MQTT message. And we then need to look at the topic to decide what to do. So if we receive the status of the demo light, then what we want to do is update our power parameter on the front lights with the value of the message that was received. And that's where we do the conversion from string as it's received in MQTT to Boolean, which is something that the update and report parameter will accept as a value. However, if it was the monitor home battery topic that was received, then we're going to update our solar parameter 
called battery with the value, the float value of the message that was received. Now let's look at our Rainmaker node. I like to put everything in a little routine called node configure where we declare the node and we give it a name. And we're going to have two parameters we've called front lights. OK, we give it a power parameter. We're going to add a callback, the right callback, and we'll go and look at that shortly and then add that to the node. Same with the solar parameter. We're going to add the temperature parameter. It has to be a temperature parameter to have the gauge, remember. And we're going to add that to our node as well. So we've added two parameters, the front lights parameter and the solar parameter. Now let's go up and look at the right callback and see what happens when Rainmaker receives a button press, for example, on the phone. So we receive the value for the parameter. If the parameter name was power and it was the front light switch, then we publish a message to our local broker. We're going to command the demo lights power to the value of one on. Otherwise, we'll turn it off. So that will shoot down to the local MQTT broker, go to Tasmota. Tasmota will switch the light off and then send back the status message that will be received over here in our MQTT handling routine. So really, this is limited only by your imagination and the devices that you want to add to it and the parameters that you would like to monitor wherever you are out and about. You may, for example, want to know when the front doors open. And it's very straightforward to add a magnetic switch and then receive an update within a second or so of the front door being opened or a window or whatever. So really the use of this is limited only by your imagination and I'd be grateful if you would put down in the comments below exactly what you're planning to use this for. Remember at the beginning I said I would give you a little tip. I think it's worth considering adding my over the air update code to this because you're going to be doing pretty regular updates as you continue to add devices to your Rainmaker bridge. If you haven't seen that video I'm going to leave a link up in this corner or maybe in this corner Nobody's ever sure of which corner it arrives in. And one last request. If you've learned anything in this video, please give it a like, share it or subscribe because it really helps grow the channel. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you on the next one. OK, Google, turn on the demo light. OK, Google, turn the demo light off.